Hi everyone, this is Granny Tammy from the Felford Lane. This is a fairy tale. I'm not going to tell the name because the name will be given out at the end of the story. Once upon a time, there was a king who only thought about money and gold. He was very wealthy, but he still wanted more and more gold. One day, he was walking by when a man came right up to him who lived in his village and said, your majesty, I have a beautiful daughter. I would love for you to meet her. There are many beautiful women in my kingdom. And it looks like you do not have much money. And as he started to walk away, the man said, but your majesty, my daughter has a special talent. What is this talent? She can spin straw into gold. What did you say? Yes, she's beautiful and, and she can spin straw into gold. Is that true? Yes, Your Majesty. Well, then send her to me right away. Send her to the palace right away. I better go tell my daughter to go right to the palace. And this is what happens. His daughter goes, goes to the palace because the father says the king wants to see you. He heard you are so beautiful. And Rose comes to the palace and the servants, I am some of the servants, bring her in the attic room where there's a big spinning wheel. And the king comes in and says, you are indeed beautiful. What is your name? Rose. Well, your father told me you could spin straw into gold. Spin the straw into gold and I would be very happy with you. What did you say? Your father said you could spin straw into gold. Did he lie to me? Oh, oh your majesty. Okay, goodbye. And the servants come in and bring the straw. And Rose goes over. Oh no, what has my father done? A spinning wheel is only to spin. Not straw to gold. It is only used to spin cotton or wool into threads or yarn. What am I to do with this round wheel and treadle, pedal and poppin? What am I to do? I cannot do anything, my father, and I will be in so much trouble. And she sits on the chair and she starts to cry. <laughs> oh my goodness, what's going to happen to us? What is going to happen to us? All of a sudden, a little man appears. Don't cry, young woman. Why are you crying? Do not cry. Oh, who are you? Do not worry who I am. I am here to help you. Really? Could, could you spin straw into gold? Could anyone do that? Of course I can do that. That's easy. It's not much straw there. So what can you give me as payment? Well, I can give you... Let me look in my bag. I don't have much, but... Yes, yes. You can have this little heart. This beautiful little heart necklace. Ooh. That's very nice. Okay. May I watch? No. You've been crying all day. I want you to get some rest. And with that, she the little her worries were over. She got into bed and he made her fall right to sleep. This little man. Some children say he's an elk. Some children say he's a leprechaun. Whatever he is, he knows how to spin straw into gold with a spinning wheel. In olden days, this is what they used. They didn't have electricity. Okay, and he starts to go on the pedals, and the big wheel starts to move, and as he goes, he's so busy, all of a sudden, what do you see? Gold, he spun the straw into gold. When he was done, he left. Very good. Goodbye, young woman. Glad I could help. Oh, Rose woke up and said, Oh, goodness, the little man's gone in. He did it, he did it. I can go home to my father now. The king walks in. He is very, very happy. He says, your father was right. You can spin short into gold. I am so pleased with you. May I go home now? No, no, says the king. I need for you to make more straw into gold. But your majesty and 
The servants bring out a bigger bale of straw. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Do a good job, says the king. Oh no, this cannot be. No one could stay all that strong to cold. And she starts to cry again. And after a while, who, who comes back? Yes, the little man. Are you crying again? Oh, yes, look, look. Oh my goodness, that king is never happy with his gold. He's always got to have more. Well, I could do that, no problem. Really? Yes, but what can you give me for my hard work? Well, let me look in my bag. I don't have much else. Let me see, let me see. <gasps> a beautiful bracelet with three purple stars. Yes, this was a present from my father. Well, it's very nice. Let me look at it. Okay, that's a deal. Now you get some rest. Okay, I am very tired. Yes, crying makes us tired. And she falls to sleep. And the little man starts his work again. He works all night, just like the last time. The dry wheel, the treadle, the pedals, and the bobbin. He's very, very busy. And in the morning, he's gone, but his work has been done. Ready to see this? Whoa, that's a lot of gold. Okay, oh, I can't even pin it on the board. It's so heavy. Let's see if we can find one good spot to put a pen. Yes, okay. Now, who comes back with the king? Young woman, wake up. Rose, wake up. Yes, Your Majesty. <gasps> oh, you've done great work. Thank you, Your Majesty. May I, come? May I go home now? What? No, no, no. You have pleased me so much. I'm going to bring in, have my servants bring in a bigger bale of straw. Oh my goodness, no one could do this. Look at this, it looks like a man. Rose, you are truly beautiful and very sweet. Thank you, Your Majesty. And you are very, very talented in making straw into gold. If you can do this one last time, I will make you my queen. I will live in the palace. Yes, you will have everything you ever imagined. And my father, I will give him a very good job, and you will see him every day. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Oh, if I could be queen, and my father would have a good job, and be so happy, but... Oh no, this can never be. Will that little man come back? And she starts to cry because that seems to work. And the little man indeed comes back. Crying again, Rose? Yes, look. Oh, <gasps> wow. Yes, the king said he will marry me. I will be the queen if I can do this. Hmm, well, this is a pretty awfully big job. Can you tell me what you will give me? Can you show me? Reward for this hard work. Well, my bag is empty. My bag is empty. I have nothing else. Well, hmm, says the little man. I have an idea. You will become the queen, and maybe in a few years, you and the queen will have, you and the king will have a baby. And I would love to be a father. What are you talking about? Well, promise me your firstborn child. What? never do that. Oh, yes, you could. And you can come visit the baby and you can come visit whenever you want. But he or she will be my child. Oh, and Rose thinks he will never keep his promise. I will just cry and he will let me keep my baby. He will never remember anyway. Okay, it's a deal. That's great. Now, you get some rest. And he has her fall asleep again. He can't really show her how he does this. He can't show anyone. And he's busy all night on the pedals, on the wheel, moving, 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 all around, round, round. And when it's all done, what does it look like, boys and girls? It 
looks like this. Wow, it truly is a tall mountain of gold. That was a hard job, but one day I will have a little child. I am so happy. I'll be a good dad. The king comes in. Rose wakes up and he says, you are wonderful. Will you be my queen? She says, yes, yes. And from that time on, Rose forgets the promise that she made to the little man. A few years have gone by. Now, let me show you the next scene. Now, what I have to do is take this. Okay. Now, let's put Rose back. She is now Queen Rose. Now, we're going to put a beautiful dress on her. And sometimes I put her crown on, sometimes I don't. Because princesses and queens, they don't always wear crowns, but we'll put the crown on because she looks so pretty in it. And she is the best queen. She's very kind and generous and sweet. Let me see if I can get her dress on. How beautiful she is. Now she can have beautiful shoes. This is a fire because in olden days, all the rooms in a palace were kept warm with fireplace. A big fireplace. Now, then we have to have, oh, they have had a little baby, a little baby girl. Let me show you how cute. the baby. As I've said, the queen is very happy. She has a little baby who she has named little Rose, Rosie. They're having a wonderful day when all of a sudden, who comes back? The little man. you come from? Oh, I can come and go anytime I want. But I, I thought you had forgotten about me. Forgotten? That you promised me? Your first child? Well, I'm ready to claim my prize. She's such a pretty little girl. I will be a good father. You can visit and let's go now. No, no, oh please. And Rose starts to cry and cry. Please, please, please do not do this, please. Oh, stop crying. You know I hate when you cry. All right. Guess my name. What did you say? Find out my name. I have a, quite a different name. Find out my name. And I will give you three days to find my name. If you discover what my name is, I will not take your little girl. Otherwise, she is who I will have as my child. Bye-bye. to do? What are we to do? The first day, you know what? Let's show you what Anna's Rose, Rose's daughter looks like. Rose's father, excuse me. This is what the daddy looks like now. See, he has beautiful clothes too. He works for the prince. Oh, my poor daughter. What is going on? And she tells her father, and he says, do not worry, Rose. It was my fault this all happened. I will find out his name. Do not worry. The first day, the little man comes back. The next day, she has three tries for three days. And Queen Rose has asked all of her names. Is your name Adam, Bradley, Connor? No. Is it, is it Donald, Edward, Frankie? No, no, no. I'll be back tomorrow. Oh, no, this will never work. He comes back. The queen gets more names. Let's put more names up. And the little man comes back. Okay, tell me some more names. Is it... Is it Donald, Edward, Frankie, Gregory, Henry, I, 
George, Harry, Eagle, Jerry, Kent, Larry, Matt? No, no, no. You have one more day. Make sure you pack all her clothes. See you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, no. This is terrible. Terrible, says the queen. And then her father comes in. He has been searching all the land with a name. And he tells her, Rose, I know his name. I was out in the woods, and I saw a little man around a fireplace, around a campfire, and he sang this song. Round and round, I dance and sing, dance and sing, dance and sing. Round and round, I dance and sing. No one knows I'm Uncle Dale. No one knows I'm Uncle Dale. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You saved a little baby, little grandchild. Okay, the last day. Did you pack little Rose's clothes? Not yet. Well, tell me, what do you think? Is it Oscar? Is it Paul, Quinn, Sean, Jay, Keith, Lonnie, Mike? No, no. Okay, let's go. Wait, I have one more guess. Yes, what is it? Is it Rumpelstiltskin? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you? And the little man was so upset, he went round and 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 went all the way up and disappeared and never came back again. Hooray! The king, who had found out from Rose's father everything, said, Oh, Rose, I am so sorry. I do not care about gold anymore. I now know the most important thing is a family. I love my little girl and I love you. That's much more important to me than any money or gold. And that is the story of Rumpelstiltskin.